everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadge.com, out here to take a look at some pretty cool accessories for your Q-Cert rifles by Dependabilt, to include some brand new ones in the raw. A quick step back, if you're unfamiliar with Q-Cert, it is a mounting system that Q came up with. It's pretty cool, and I think right now they're the only people doing it. It basically adds strength with respect to actually mounting things, and reduces weight, which is pretty amazing, over like key mod or M-Lock. And the way they do it is a pretty cool process where they basically press these pieces in. I think they're pim nuts, if memory serves, and it's incredibly strong and incredibly lightweight. So there are accessories for them, not tons on the market, but it is definitely supported to include over at Sawtooth Rifles, the sister company, which is Dependabilt. And they basically make Arca rails to go on all of your different Q-Cert handguards. And yeah, they just came out with some new ones. And if you're unfamiliar with Arca rails or K-Swiss, I think they were called for a while, it is basically a standardization that mounts up to tripod heads. So think Really Right Stuff or one of the mini tripod companies that have come out where you can basically mount, again, to this like dovetail essentially and mount it into a tripod. So I use them a ton, whether I'm just shooting on the range, getting zeros, or shooting especially at distance, or hunting with my boys for that matter. Amazing shooting off a tripod. So how do we mount them to include with our Q-Cert? Well, a number of different sizes. I'll show you how to mount this guy up, and then we'll go over kind of all the different sizes. When you get these in the package, they'll basically come all sealed up. These are actually clear anodized, matchy matchy, and then down here you'll have all your hardware. Tells you what the hardware is as well as the size as far as Torx key, hex key, and this being for Q-cert, and then the length. I want to say it's in millimeters. This being 647, this right here being one of the new ones which is 844. And on the back you have these index pieces which basically index with your Q-cert, and all of your different holes which go in. So this guy goes right there, lines up. Oof. Guess I have to hold that until I screw it in. And over here, I'll grab these guys, use some fix-it sticks, torque limiter. You probably can't over tighten these things just because honestly, if you over tighten these, either this aluminum's gonna give or your screw is going to break, it will not be able to pull these pim nuts through the rail. Pretty amazing. So, right there, T25, and I'll throw these other ones on. Swapping out bits to this 532nd hex key, we have these limiters. So, up on the front and the rear, you have a number of holes. Well, you have four holes. And you don't have to put them in. I typically like to put them in. And what they do is they're just that. They're like, essentially, think of them as like left and right lateral limits, except forward and back, to where if you have this thing sitting on your tripod, because you're shooting off your tripod, or some of the bipods that will move back and forth, this allows you to slide the gun back and forth, loosening the tripod a little bit without having to slide all the way out. And we now have this thing installed to include the limiters up front and to the rear. And real quick, before I go over all the different sizes, what if you want to have your bipod on here, like Q's kickstand? If you're unfamiliar with the kickstand, it is a nice, light, minimalist bipod for your nice, light, fixed rifle. And it goes right in there. And we can take, again, our T25. And honestly, you can torque these things to like 45, 50 inch pounds if you want. I'm just putting them to 25 right now. And we'll put this on. Now, set up for all occasions. I can, of course, shoot off of this bipod, or if I want to shoot off of the tripod, 
I can do that right there. And options are nice. So right here is the rail for the minifix. And there's this piece, which you can obviously put on there. And keep in mind, you can put these, as long as they're not too long for your rail, you can put them on pretty much any of the different handguards rails. So there's that piece, smallest, or this piece right here, which is brand new. Bring that on right. And this one actually is sized to be exactly the size of that. So you have as much space as you can on this shortest rail by Q with that Q-cert. Then we get into other options. I should probably pick that up. So this one right here is sized to where it actually fits flush, just like that other one, but for, we'll call it the mid-length rail. So on the fix, chambered in 6.8 blackout, 8.6 blackout rather, it is the full length of the handguard, just like that other one for the mini fix. And then if you want, again, full length handguard for this handguard, the largest of them, which is used on like their 308 and 65 Creedmoor and their 16 inch barrel guns. So full length or that one. And again, this one when used here, leaves enough room to go ahead and throw your kickstand on if you're gonna run that. And then, there's even one other intermediate rail. All of the options. And depending on your setup, I want to say this convention was created by Really Right Stuff. Basically these holes, some things like lock into it. They're all set up for that. And even if you're not using that, shaves a little bit of weight, which is nice. Shooting off of tripods, something that came over from like PRS World competition side. I'm really surprised more people haven't adopted it, especially with respect to hunting. It is game changing. But if you're interested in picking up some Arca, K-Swiss, whatever we want to call them, for your Q-Cert, whether it's the Fix, Mini Fix, or 8.6 Blackout, go over, there'll be links down below. You can check out all the different, like, entire line by the pen to build. But, as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadge.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.